Go fight his own. Where are the impurists so much extra damage, dude? It's crazy. Just makes it so much easier to burst people down. I thought you were just here to make up. As long as you don't tell my wire. <laughs> Oh my god, everybody's up here. We got the whole squad. This Leo's waiting for us to show. Why would you taunt? What? Why would you taunt? What an idiot. <laughs> Damn. Alright, I think we can rotate on this. Yeah, we want to get this wave cleared, and then we want to go to our Sentinel. Don't push, just get Sentinel. They're not going to invade this. Ah, oh, damn, I missed the globe. I thought I was going to get it. Realistically, I think we should have been on turret and then come back down. But if this is what team wants to do, then that's okay. Ooh, I love this invade. I just really hope it works. If the Mei wants to be down there, then it totally can, though. Nice kill! Oh, Murden, pick up the turret! Pick up the turret, Murden! Pick it up, Murden! You could have picked it up! Okay, we got Dragon Queen out. That's pretty good. And look at all that damage, dude. That was really in our favor. Although we do go down on experience by a lot. Wait, what? This guy's just suiciding? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Weird game so far. DPS mockery, this item doesn't pad my stats into the trash with you. <laughs> totally. I mean, I was just talking about how on Crustle, I kind of want to drop my damage items for more survivability on Backdoor Crustle. I did not even consider running Aeos Cookie in that uh, in that strategy, and it's just such an intriguing idea to me. down a significant amount of experience here. Ooh. We are down level 7 and hard engaging. Nice kill by our Muradin there. Really well done. Great vision to see that pick.
I think I'm dead. I flew too close to the sun. No, that bomb, if that bomb hit, I would have survived. It was just the tiniest bit off. We almost had it though. We're getting top soak anyway. We're gonna say that that death was tactically distracting the enemy team. That's totally what it was. Oh damn, why are you here? What the hell? This Leo rotates like every two seconds, it's crazy. Oh damn, I shouldn't have been there. I didn't realize that the payload was getting pushed in, I was just totally unaware. We're down level 10. We don't really have a desire to be fighting. Hold on, this guy's inting. This guy's inting really hard. Why was he doing that? Like, we were in vision rotating to his lane. He literally saw us coming. It was so weird. I can duel that Lunara. I'm gonna face check. Like, I wasn't in danger for face checking that. They didn't have anything to insta stun me. Come on, hit the stab. Nice! I think I might die here. Damn, that bomb really needed to hit Luna. It's okay, Brightwing bailing us out. Brightwing bailing us out. Okay, that's just about dead anyway. And then we go take their turret after. Dude, that was a really good fight right there. I'm telling you, level 10 came around, and I depended a lot less on my Alex to heal me. Like, that just... It's such a change when you get level 10 as Tracer, and you have a healer that's not great at healing you. Because now, with all the extra bomb charge, you can heal yourself so much more in a team fight. This Leo player is kind of an inter. Like, this guy just does not have the minimap DLC installed, this fresh NAR player. Wanna go soak top wave. Oh. Looks like they had the same idea. Guys, I'm gonna give you a little piece of friendly advice. Uh, you're never gonna land the blizzard icing combo on a tracer. Okay, as may. It just doesn't work. It's a waste of cooldowns. I promise you. This guy's in tomb. This Leo. Could you please share link to the track? I'm just type exclamation point music, my guy. Like I'm in game, I'm not gonna like get out and type a link to you. Let's see. Need some help. I love that just hearing the voice actor for Azula just saying she needs help. We're up level 13 on them. I'm okay with you having that W on me, Leo. You're the one who needs to be scared, my guy. We are just cleaning house, dude! Easy money. Are we really diving this? I'm here for it. Nice. That was a very good play by my team. They actually played that incredibly well. Of 
Tracer, by the way. Yeah, you can't run from Tracer. That's why I like getting into these um, open air fights. Is like, oh, if a team fights you mid jungle as Tracer on Hanamura, they have a long way to run to get to safety. So it's like super easy for enemy teams to just overcommit and then realize that they're in too deep and then there's just no way they get to safety in time. Please into me, it'll be hilarious. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I was like specifically trying to give him positioning that screams like, please entomb me. I was standing at like max entomb range, just like waiting for it. One day this May will stop trying to hit me with the icing blizzard combo. Not today, but one day. Gotcha, bitch. Leo, I, I want you to revive here. I'm hitting you on purpose. Stop trying to entomb me, dude. <laughs> that doesn't work. May should just blind you with Q? I mean, what does that do, though? Like, May is super bad at a tracer. A lot of people think she's good because she has a blind, and it's like, why? Like, blinds aren't that good in a tracer. If you have a lot of them, then, like, maybe, but even then you can still totally lose, right? Like, it depends on how the tracer's playstyle is that game. Like, May is really bad because she does nothing to prevent... Like, in a tracer, she's really bad. She does nothing to prevent tracer from just murdering her teammates at all, nor can she kill the tracer at all. So, like, she can't protect anyone, and she can't kill tracer, so the tracer just gets to free farm her team. Like, this right here is... One of the weakest possible comps you could make to try and play into Tracer. Because, like, even if May cues me, it's just like, oh no, I just stopped free damaging your team for a couple seconds. And then it's right back to it. <laughs> They have to go defend core, meaning that we get free uh, bot keep damage here. I think I kill the Alex. Nice. And also jumpers just super good into Lunara. It just basically invalidates her poison damage. Nice. Oh, good pick. Good, Muradin. This Muradin has been going for great picks the entire game. Like, honestly, guys, if you're playing a comp where you're playing into squishies and um, and you have, like, all this burst kill pressure, this Murden's doing exactly what you're supposed to do under those circumstances. Like, I think that a lot of low-level players could learn a lot by, like, watching that Murden. And in games that fit this kind of description where, like, you can just be super aggro and get burst kills... Like, you should just copy what that Muradin did. He played it super well. GG. Really good stuff.